Sairam children. Hope all are fine. So all are eating healthy food. Yes. Because we have a lot of knowledge about the food now. We have learned the food chapter. So we know more about food. And we also know what kind of food we should eat. So children, in today's chapter, we are going to do the revision of lesson number one. Food, where does it come from? So in today's session, we are going to do the revision of our previous videos. I hope you all have watched the first lesson of the video. So the same thing, we are going to just do a quick revision. And the end of this lesson, we have a activity for you to do like uh, in the scrapbook. And uh, the assignment is given. That is, the whole lesson is included in that assignment. So, concentrate on this video, children. If you have any doubt, just pause the video and listen to the video. Now, children, let us go to the lesson. Now, we have different kinds of food to eat, right? So, why do we eat the food? Yes, we eat food because food provides us energy, it helps us to grow, it helps us to overcome wear and tear. It also protects us against from many diseases. So we eat food. Now children, we eat different kinds of food at different times. Right. So, there seems to be variety of foods in our area. So, what are these food items made of? So, you are eating rice. Do you know what items are required to cook the rice? Yes. Rice and water. And for roti, you must be having roti or chapati. So, what ingredients are required for making that? So, we need wheat flour, salt and water. So, you must be having dal every day. So, what are the ingredients required? So, pulses, water, salt, oil, ghee and spices. So, to cook any food items, to cook any food items, we need lot of ingredients. So, our food items have lot of ingredients. So, these ingredients, from where do we get these ingredients? We get it from plants and animals. So, we find some ingredients which is common, right? And uh, some ingredients are different for many food items. So, where do these ingredients come from? From where do we get? So, we get from plants and animals. For example, from the plants, what do we get? We get vegetables, fruits, Pulses, cereals and nuts. And from animals, we get milk, meat, eggs, etc. So, these are the sources of plants and animals. Now, children, to cook the food item of, um, for example, idli. So, if you want to cook the food Idli, what are the ingredients required? We require rice, urad dal, salt and water. So, rice, from where do we get this rice? From the plants. And urad dal, from the plants. So, water is common. So, 
The sources which we get from plants are rice, urad dal for making idlis. And for kheer, we require milk, sugar and nuts. So from where do we get this milk? Which source? Yes, it is animal sources. And nuts and sugar, it is a plant source. <clears throat> Suppose if you are eating any non-veg items like a chicken curry. So where do we get this chicken or meat? That is, we get from the animals. And spices, we get from the plants. So oil and ghee. So we get both from plants also and animals also because oil we get from some of the plants and ghee we get from the animals. So these are the different sources and these are the different ingredients. So for any food item to be cooked we need ingredients. So the rice, urda, salt they are called as ingredients. The items, the things which is required for cooking the food is called the ingredients. So, where do we get these ingredients? From plants and animals. <clears throat> now, yes. So, children, plants are the sources of food. So, from plants we get grains, cereals, fruits, vegetables and from animals what do we get? We get milk, meat products and eggs. So, from which animals do we get this? Cows, buffaloes are some common animals and goats. So, these are the some common animals we get milk and meat. And uh, from where do we get the egg? From hen. So children and milk from milk. There are many milk products like butter, cheese and curd which is used all over the world. Now children let us learn about some plants part and animal products as food. So from the plants... So, you, you must have seen the plant. So, which part of the plant is eaten as food? Do we eat leaves? Yes, in some plants we eat the leaves. Do we eat the seeds? Yes, seeds is also useful because from flowers or seeds we get the oil. And there are many leafy vegetables, fruits and vegeta vegetables, roots, stem. So, all these parts we eat as food. So, there are some stems, there are some roots also which we consume as food. So, all these examples are given in our first video itself. So, just pause the video and watch it again. Now, do you know that some plants have two or more edible parts? Means, in a plant, we eat, that is the plant give us two or more parts that is useful for us. For example, mustard plant. So, the seeds of the mustard plant is used for making oil. And the leaves of the mustard plant is used for as leafy vegetables. Can you think of some other plants where we can use two or more edible parts? Yes, right. It is banana tree. So, banana tree, the leaves also we use. The fruits also, banana fruit also we eat. And that flower also is used as vegetable. So, the whole plant, the whole banana plant is useful right and coconut tree so think about more plants that is very useful that is two or more edible plants we use so from the animal products as we know that animal products we know milk meat and egg 
we get from the animals so children in the first video of our lesson number one we have learned how to make the sprouts so we have to take moong or chenna soak it in the water for the overnight and drain the water and leave the seeds in the vessel or with a piece of cloth just cover it or wrap it then you can see a small white structure that is grown out of the seeds so if so then the seeds have sprouted it means the seeds have sprouted if you see the small white structure from the seeds that means it is sprouted which is full of vitamins so you can drain that and you can have it raw also or you can cook and eat them and now about the beehive also we learnt so what do you remember about the beehive yes do you know where from where does honey comes so honey comes from how it is produced you know yes all this we have learnt we are just going to revise it so can you remember how honey is produced yes from the beehive where so many bees are kept they keep buzzing there so bees collect nectar from flowers bees collect nectar from flowers so what is called next ne nectar it is a sweet juices from the flower so bees collect nectar from flowers and they convert into honey and it is stored in their hive and it is stored in their hive so these flowers and their nectar may be available only for a part of the year so bees store their nectar for their use throughout the year so then what do these human do so we collect the food stored by the bees as honey and so we all love to eat honey right children so because it is very sweet now let us see what do animals eat so as human beings need food to live and to do the work we get energy from the food so animals also need food to live so where do these animals get their food now first animals are divided into three categories they are herbivores carnivores and omnivores so what are they herbivores carnivores and omnivores now what is this herbivores what are they called we have some animals you must have seen many animals right so some animals which eat only plants or plant products they are called as herbivores so children what are called herbivores animals which eat only plants or plant products are called as herbivores can you think of an example which eat only plants yes cow goat and now you think of remaining examples and what is the other category carnivores so what are called carnivores so the animals which eat other animals they kill they hunt the other animals and eat as their food so they are called as carnivores so animals which eat other small animals are called as carnivores so can you think of an example yes these animals live in the forest for example lion and tiger so which is the next category omnivores so what are called omnivores the animals which eat both plants and animals are called as 
omnivores so can you think of an example yes dog okay children so how many it is divided into three groups how many groups three groups so they are herbivores carnivores and omnivores now just revise what are they called and try to give the examples now children and we have many many more animals do you know um, what does a cat eat yes what is the food for the cat yes it eats small animals birds and milk do you know what does buffalo eat yes grass oil cake hay and grains so what about lion it eats other animals it hunt and eat the other animals so do you do you know what is a butterfly what is the food of the butterfly yes it sits on many flowers and it sucks the nectar from the flowers that is it drinks the juices from the flowers right so here here we have many more animals and you should know the other animals what do they eat so the down link is given below down of this video so click on to that link and find out the answer and write and submit it on online now let us go through some exercises so which of the following ingredients is used to make chapatis rice wheat green peas and lentils so for chapati what ingredients is required that is wheat so here already i have done the answer children so all plants are edible to us means if you find any plants can we eat that full plant no it is not like that only some plants they have two or more edible parts so it is wrong so which of the following has a plant product as a main ingredient so roti cream cheese curd so cream cheese and curd are animal products so only roti means that we have we make from wheat flour that is the plant product to make rice we need dash and dash so rice and water and which part of the sunflower is used to obtain sunflower oil it's from seeds maize is also known as corns butter is characterized as dairy products so honey bees collect from nectar from the plants so which is a major food consumed in southern part of india yes rice so radish is a dash stem root leaf of flower it is a root so where do beehives live bees and which of the following is a fruit of a plant brinjal spinach carrot potato so brinjal is the fruit of a plant so here children we have many more questions here all this we have already done in our first video and here we have matched the following so a column and b column we have so you will have to just read the question and match it and finally we have some activity here so you have to make a or draw a healthy meal plate so you will draw the plate a big plate and what is called healthy meal plate so balanced diet what is called balanced diet so it should contain carbohydrates proteins fats and some fruits vegetables and everything so you should either draw or stick the pictures and make a big beautiful plates now next one is draw or stick plant parts that can be eaten as a food so which are the plant parts for example spinach it is a leaf 
then carrot, then radish, then beetroot, then flowers, then fruits. All this you have to stick and write the names of that. And this activity you have to do it in a scrapbook or in the A4 size paper or chart paper or in a tinted paper. And submit it when the school reopens. Until then, solve the, write the answers for the given link. The assignment is given. Complete that work and submit it on online. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye, children.